Are you ready to respond to the call? A blessed day, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. The inspiration for the movie Catch Me If You Can. Frank Abagnale gained worldwide notoriety for his fraudulent schemes. He started issuing fraudulent checks at only 16 years old, and by the time he was 21, he had written over $2 million worth. He was caught in 1971, but served just two of his 12-year sentence because he was released early in exchange for helping the FBI catch the other con men. However, he continued as a con artist and posed as an airline pilot while running scams on the side for money. He stole, lied, and cheated almost as easily as most people breathe. It was in his nature to do so. But the authorities were on to him, and he was getting caught more often than not. Finally, Abagnale decided to turn a new chapter in his life and worked with the FBI for more than 30 years as one of the world's foremost experts on document fraud, check swindling, forgery, and embezzlement today owns and operates a fraud consulting company that has served 14,000 banks and companies. He has since achieved the status of expertise and prominence in the anti-fraud field. Today's Gospel reading relates to the call of Matthew, a tax collector. Jesus calls Matthew to follow him. Later, he accepts hospitality in Matthew's house and shares a table with Matthew's usual crowd, tax collectors and sinners. In Jesus' time, tax collectors were looked down upon by the Israelites. They were viewed as corrupt and unpatriotic because they served the Roman oppressors. Being despised in society, the tax collectors must have had low self-esteem. Imagine, therefore, the surprise and the joy on Matthew's face when Jesus, with growing popularity as a respected teacher, called him to be his follower. Without a second thought, he got up and followed Jesus and thus began his transformation. The mission of Jesus is to bring people back to God. How can he accomplish his mission if he does not deal with people of different backgrounds? Jesus teaches people to love their neighbors, whatever their background may be. Jesus was living the principle of practice what you preach when he called Matthew. Jesus indeed came to heal our physical as well as emotional and spiritual illnesses. He came to give back our dignity and make us whole. Everyone is called to follow Jesus. It does not matter what our background is. We may be a habitual sinner, but in Jesus' eyes, our past does not define us, much like our opening story. It does not even matter what people think of us. What is important is our response to His call. It is our decision today and our plan for the future that God looks upon with His merciful eyes. Let us pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, like Matthew, we want to follow you as your disciple and to love you wholeheartedly 
with all that we have. Transform our hearts and fill us with faith, hope, and love that we may always find peace and joy in your presence. Jesus, we trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.